And hey I'm everybody, I hope you're all quite well. A while. I'm filming this um, video, so today I'm probably not probably guest from the title. title. I'm doing um, a Q so and A today. I asked you on a guest from the title. I'm doing and, um, a Q and A, and I asked you on Instagram. So some without further ado, let's get and, um, started. I'm just going to answer some of them. So without further ado, let's get started. So I've got it all on my iPad, so I'm going to be reading them out now. What's the first makeup product you bought? So, on my 12th birthday, because I wasn't allowed makeup at all until I was 12, my mum kind of got me a makeup bag and said, here, like, and then told me how to use it. So there wasn't really one makeup product. It was a lipstick from Max Factor, um, a Maybelline concealer, a Max Factor pressed powder, two mascaras in the 2000 calorie Max Factor mascaras, um, Max Factor lip gloss. It was a lot of Max Factor basically. Um, and a Max Factor eyeliner. What's the key thing to making Instagram videos? Now, I don't really think there's a key thing. I think if you just kind of start out making videos and you see, oh, other people are editing like this, and then you kind of make your videos based on other people's videos, of course, always give credit. If you've made a video that you've literally not copied, but like, use the idea of say Lush Leah or BB Quinn or something, you always give credit, even if it's a big account like those two accounts. Why did you start Instagram? Well it was on holiday last summer, I started like buying loads of lip balm and I was in the car a lot, we were in the car a lot, so me and my sister just started filming because we, we'd always wanted to, we'd always pretend we were filming, so we started filming and editing and I don't know, it, I've just kind of grown to do it. It was mostly because of my friend Lush Leo, which you probably all heard of. Um, yeah. Makeup or Bath and Body Works? Now, I have been to Bath and Body Works, so this is um, a decent question, I guess. Um, um, I do like Bath and Body Works. I think it's a lovely place to be. Like, in general, the atmosphere and the just knowledge of being there, like, I don't know. It's lovely. It's a lovely place to be. But I could not live without makeup so I'd have to go for makeup. I think Bath and Body Works is a nice experience for like a few times and I understand why Americans probably don't appreciate it as much as people in the UK because we don't have it in the UK. EOS or Revo? Revo. I just love them so much. Like the Strawberry Revo is one of my favourite lip balm. So I do love Revos and I prefer them to EOS. How many lippies do you have? Um, so lippies I'm not really sure because I don't know whether this includes like lip glosses, lipsticks, but lip balms I have 130, glasses or braces? Um, I don't really know how to answer this question but I'm probably going to say glasses because I just really like my glasses, <laughs> like I know that sounds really weird but I've always liked like this kind of eeky look. If I could choose to have braces all my life and glasses all my life I would definitely choose glasses because braces are really annoying, I hate brushing my teeth, I hate eating because I feel like my teeth are going to fall out. Not that you should be scared to get braces, braces aren't like a scary thing, I just, I would rather have glasses. They're more of an obvious thing. What's your favourite drugstore makeup brand? Sleek. I really like Sleek. They do brilliant like colour things. I didn't really know what I'm saying but like eyeshadows and lipsticks and blush like not necessarily the more natural things like foundation or anything but really like the eyeshadow and blush and lipstick and stuff they're really good for that sort of stuff so I, I think sleek is my favourite Bath and Body Works or Lush? I really don't know I think I'd have to say Bath and Body Works and that's probably because we don't have one in the UK and Lush just is easily accessible for me so I don't appreciate it as much as I do Bath and Body Works Favourite YouTubers? So I don't actually watch that many YouTubers. Um, so the, my favourite beauty YouTubers would be Just Jodes, Zoella, Lushlia, RCL Beauty 101. But I'm not that big on watching beauty videos. I mean, of course I love them, but like the YouTubers I watch are more like Graveyard Girl and Good Mythical Morning, Rhett and Link and um, Charlie is so cool, like the old school sort of challenging videos that are usually meant for men, but pizza or donuts? This, I'm going to go into so much depth with this question, okay? I'm such a picky eater, 
so it depends on what donuts and what pizza like I would choose hot fairground deep fried like this is gonna sound disgusting but like greasy fatty donuts over like Asda or Tesco pizza because the only pizza I like is like Pizza Hut or Domino's or like proper made pizza I went into much more detail than I thought I would Unicorns or horses? Unicorn. I'm sorry if the camera angle just changed or anything, I just had to refilm because for some reason it stopped filming. Fave high end beauty product. I don't actually have that many high end things because I, for me, I'd rather have a lot of drugstore than a couple of high end. But the high end stuff I do have, I'd probably say my MAC Tilado mascara. I don't know if you can get it anymore, but it's lasted me so long, I just really love it. It gives my lashes like a wet look that I quite like. What is your favourite hobby? I really love singing and dancing. So I'll do singing passionately, but when I'm dancing I will sing to it because I'm more of a musical theatre. I don't dance, I don't dance, I cannot dance to save my life, but I do like dancing. And I, I don't, I think my dancing means more musical theatre. Who inspired me to start my beauty account? Of course, it was Lushlia because, um, I don't know, she was just kind of the first person that I saw. I didn't really realise how big the beauty community was. So I watched her videos, like, I was one of the first followers. Like, I followed her when she had, like, 2,000 or something and got locked out. So I watched her, like, first videos. Um, and then I sort of DM'd her, like, <laughs> This is gonna sound so creepy, but because she did like a vlog or something, I recognised the place. I was like, "Oh my gosh, Leah, do you live in?" Obviously, I can't say where she or me lives, but um, and then she's like, "Yeah, I go to this school, which I recognise because I have friends that go to that school, and she has friends that go to my school." So there was a lot of connection, and then we started to become friends, and yeah, and we're meeting up tomorrow, so I'm gonna post a vlog for that. Guys, I'm so scared about the new Insta update. I really... So if you can prevent it, don't get the Instagram update, please. I'm begging you. I love the chronological order. But we don't know, because by the time we posted the video, the update will happen. So you'll be able to tell... Well, I'll be able to know. You'll be able to know whether it's um, good or not. Okay, guys, so I don't want to make this video too long. I know that it is not, but I don't have that much storage on my camera, so I won't be able to, you know edit it if it's too long so i'm gonna have to end it there thank you all for watching thank you for all your questions uh i really like q a's because you can just sit and talk and i think that's the best sort of video because you don't have to do any planning please subscribe if you haven't already i'm trying to get 200 subscribers at the moment because i have only just started don't do me um and i'm trying to just build up my uh, my youtube before anyone comes out Anyway, just please subscribe because it means so much and like this video if you liked it. If you don't, don't dislike it, but I'm not going to force you to like this video, okay? Like it because you're generous and I love you. Bye.